Hello, traders. How are you? Vladimir here from Traders Academy Club. And in this video, I would like to share with you my weekly market analysis uh, for the coming week, the 7th to 12th November 2021, and to share with you my two top picks for the coming week and to explain why am I looking to trade them the way I am about to share. So ready to start. Let's do it. But a very, very quick one before we do, if you are new to this channel, welcome to our amazing community. Please subscribe to the channel. Just follow the subscribe button below the video and remember, enable the notification so you know when a new content is available for you. And also, I would like to invite you to join our trading family, Traders Academy Club, to enjoy all our real-time education and real-time trading ideas shared with you. And you can do that by following the links in the description below this video or in the pinned comment in the comment section. And also, if you find this video helpful and uh, useful, please show your support back, leave some feedback in the comment section, hit this like button, very important for this uh, YouTube algorithm. So thank you very much in advance for your help. So my two picks for the coming week will be the first one is going to be the pound dollar. And the reason I am looking to trade the pound dollar in the bearish direction is due to the following analysis. So what we have on the weekly chart here is a classical three waves, very slowing down as we can see, we are rounding here, creating a top, uh, rounding in the area, creating a false breakout. And you can see it's found by the indicator here, false breakout, bearish divergence. Okay, so we can take a look on the MACD here. Lower highs are created on the moving average of the MACD, on the histogram, as well as on the RSI. Classical scenario. After that, we flip to make lower lows. A pullback and an expected bearish continuation. Why do I think this one has a bearish future? This week, we saw a disappointment on the traders and investor side when the Bank of England uh, basically disappointed them by not going hawkish on the interest rate hike and uh, cutting off the asset purchases. Uh, and the fundamental disappointment together with the, with the technical analysis led me to believe that we did complete here the first leg and we are now about to complete the second leg. So let me just color that in different colors. First leg, and likely we are about to complete the second leg to the downside. And as long as there are no reversal sign on this one, going to the lower time frame, we can see a gaining momentum here. Three lower highs, lower lows, gaining bearish momentum. As you can see, each wave is faster. Uh, no ending signs. The indicators indicate continuation by following the price. Right? Lower lows on the chart, lower lows on the indicator, each of them, which uh, lead me to believe that every pull back here, back to the volume zone, as you can see, there is a first area here, uh, the volume area, the second one, massive one, is slightly higher. And from these areas, I believe we should find the opportunities to join the current controlling sellers in the market. What do you think about the pound dollar? Share with me on the comments and uh, let me know how do you see the pound dollar and uh, down to where you expect it to reach. Uh, as per possible targets, I personally think we are aiming the, the area of 132 down to 128, which is the Fibonacci zone and a massive volume area from the weekly chart. So the way I see that, there is a big room to the downside that's spare the pound dollar and the second one i would like to share with you is going to be the pound yen and here is the interesting scenario i see here so we got a clearance zone here by cleaning this high and the reason i say cleaning is look what happens in this area it came to retest it there was no completed divergence until the end of this week. Uh, 
re rejected, tried to break through, rejected for three weeks in a row. We tried to see the highs. Uh, and afterwards, it creates the arrow pattern, which I love to see here, three spikes to higher highs and then to lower highs. And besides that, three straight candles making lower highs, lower lows at the end of this week, which is a great um, overview here. And I think like, like with the pound dollar, we are in a first wave currently without any significant ending signs. So any short-term pullback here, I believe, should take us towards this area, which is key uh, weekly and daily volume area, where from very likely to assume we would see the, uh, the market making some deeper pullback and further continuation down. As long as the price holds below this massive volume area that we, as you can see, a lot of data is going here, right? A lot of uh, ticks, a lot of transactions uh, and orders uh, accumulating in this area. As long as it holds below this area, every pullback from my point of view should uh, be a sign for further bearish continuation. And ideally for the longer run, we should see the price uh, heading towards this massive zone that uh, we can see um, on the weekly chart. So uh, these are uh, two of my, uh, as for now, uh, best ideas to follow for the coming week, of course, would be one to follow uh, for more specific price behavior and uh, divergence signs on the lower time frame during the week. Uh, and um, if you would like to enjoy these opportunities, uh, I invite you once again to join our trading family, Traders Academy Club, and enjoy all our real-time uh, ideas and real-time trading education. Let me show you how it looks like in real time. So this is our uh, channel where we uh, publish real-time ideas with full explanation, educational part. Why am I looking to trade them the way I do? As you can see, updated in real time, followed by real time. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. I invite you to join our family. Uh, if you are looking to take your trading many steps further, and I, I hope to see you with us and uh, to be helpful. If you do uh, want to look uh, at the opportunities with us, follow the link below in this um, uh, description below the video and in the pinned comment in the comment section. And uh, that's it for this video. I would like to thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. I wish you a fantastic trading and best of luck. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me and ask anything you have below the video in the comments. Stay safe, be well, and see you around. Bye for now.